Hello everyone. <clears throat> uh, here it says that in a lot of 100 light bulbs, there are five defective bulbs, and Spectre inspect 10 bulbs selected at random. Find the probability of finding at least one defective bulb. Now, find the probability that we find at least one defective bulb means basically what we need to do is if we want to find at least one so we want to find that x is less than no actually x is greater than yes, greater than or equal to one then what we need to do that would be that it's equal to 1 to all the way to 100 or because when you have 5 defective bulb then we will from 1 to 5 well let's then do something that is better instead of doing all that we can just find the probability that there are no defective bulb so that so that so that when we are looking for that x is at least greater than 1 it would be 1 minus that there are no defective bulb so let us let me yeah let's let's do this now uh, we know that this is a hyper hypergeometric because we have 100 light bulb in total. There is a sample of 10 that the inspector inspects, and on top we're gonna have two. We know that there are five defective light bulbs. So there are five defective, oh, five, not two, five. <laughs> this means that there are 95 that are not defective. And we wanted to find the at least one is defective, but instead we are looking for the probability that we are actually looking for not that at least one of them, but we're looking for that there are no defective light bulb. So that would be a zero, and that would make it ten. Because if there are none, then there are ten that are good. So we are going to pull up our calculator. And like I said, this is a TID-9, but it's the same thing as the titanium. So we can use that or the titanium and use it the same way. So it's going to be the same way. So first I put the parenthesis and I click on F3 and actually not F3. I click on the second button, click number five, click number seven, then number three. That would be the combination. And you could copy, copy, and then you copy this, and then paste. So now you would have this a five zero will be five comma zero, and then you close parenthesis times. All the way here, 95, 10, so 95, comma, 10, and then close parenthesis, and then second parenthesis now to close it all, divide by, I can just now do the, the paste and then take 100, comma, 10, and close parenthesis. And that would be equal to 0.58. So the probability of none is zero. Uh oh. 
would be 0.584 point will be uh, or will be 0.584. So the probability that at least one, the probability that at least one of them is defective would be one minus 0.5. Point five eight four, and that would be equal to the C minus one point four one six would be equal to point four one six, and that's the problem. Basically, what they're asking. So straightforward. If you like it, thumbs up. Thumbs down if you don't. And if you don't understand, please comment. Other than that. That's it.